Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I'm back with Fishing Planet, and we are here at the Japan map again. It's Actually, we're trying to complete these maintenance adventures missions, and I've already got to the last one. I didn't do episodes for every mission. I figured I'd go ahead and get through them and locate the, the spots that they were pointing out. I figured with this last mission we could go ahead and catch the dog tooth tuna. Now you've seen those in past e in past episode, but they aren't really that tough to catch. That much I did discover. And if I'm not mistaken, I've got a lot of sizes here for the dog tooths that I still need to catch to complete them. Let me see here. I've got yeah, we still have trophy and unique ones we have not caught yet. So we might get lucky and catch a couple of those. But let's go ahead and jump in here and see if we can't find us a trophy or a unique one. That would be nice. Especially if they're going to find us a distinct spot for them. Now we're not going to be placing a navigation buoy here seems like most of these locations yeah see we already have one here i think i had this one here because of uh well i was i don't remember what i was uh, catching at the point but looks like we got some fish jumping out there it's a little hard to resist that some more tuna yeah no we need to resist it because we need to jump over here and get this mission taken care of so let's wait a minute actually we're already here we're already here oh that's right i did do that off screen i forgot yeah we just need to pull a little bit forward honestly let's do it yeah i had come back from signing off last night and forgot where i was i was a little more advanced than i thought all right, let's go ahead and zoom this in so we make sure we get to the right spot here. All right, well, we need to catch the dog tooth tuna. Doesn't say how to catch them, but they are out there. Let's go ahead and do some trolling for these guys. And we'll go ahead and put our rods out. I guess the best thing to do is just to go back and forth. What's unusual about this particular place with the tuna is there are no birds. Just the fish jumping around. Alright, let's go ahead and throw this one out. Now these guys don't come too big. So we should be all right to use another rod. Now I will tell you this though, I did learn that if the fish is too strong, this game is nice enough to tell you this fish is too strong and stop allowing you to use the gear instead of letting it the fish wreck the gear. Holy crap, did I actually get a bite on that? Oh, I thought I did there for a minute. Sure look like it. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and place this on here. And we'll go ahead and get this thing back in action here. The dog tooth are actually pretty easy to catch, to be perfectly honest. 
I've caught quite a few of them just in a variety of ways. I've caught them with float fishing, bottom fishing, I've caught them with trolling. They don't seem all that particular. But I'm going to try to set this thing up to where it's going right where they're jumping. Which is right over there. I'm hoping that's what they are. All right, guys, we've got this at 4%. We're going to go right through the middle of these guys. And as you can see, they're jumping everywhere. I'm just assuming that they're dog tooth salmon. Uh, dog tooth salmon. Dog tooth tuna. I don't know that they are. I've been playing fish and plant too long. I've been dealing with salmon for so long. I'm calling them salmon. <laughs> Alright, we've got plenty of them around here. I think we could probably troll just about anywhere. And do fairly well. But we're going to have to turn here because we're going to hit those rocks. I think we might... I don't know. Not 100% certain, but I thought I saw something biting on the left one. <coughs> Here come the cell boats again. I swear to God, you can't escape those damn things. Alright, let's see if we can not get something to bite. If we can't, we're going to have to resort to do some bottom fishing or pilking or something. I just kind of figured that we'd catch them this way. And so far... Not getting any takers. All right, guys. These guys are being a little bit difficult when it comes to the trolling. I think we're going to have to resort to bottom fishing. Not that that's a major problem, but kind of figured trolling would work. Go back to the thick of these guys, which is right about here. And here they are. All right, once we get in here, I'm going to go ahead and hit the engine. Yeah, I'm really surprised the trolling didn't work. But they were not cooperating with us. Alright, let's see here. Dog tooth, dog tooth tuna. What do they like? Finger mullets, scaled sardines, Japanese flying squid. Pretty much the same stuff everything else does. What do we got on our bottom rods? We have that we can change. We're going to go ahead and put the Japanese jack mackerel on there. That's a good size hook for them. I'm going to keep the Japanese flying squid the same for that one. Yeah, we're going to try some bottom fishing. See if we can get them that way. 
Wait a minute. Let me reel this back in. I've changed my mind. I think I'm going to do some float fishing and some bottom fishing. That way we'll approach this from two different techniques. Let's see here. We don't want that. Let's put the Japanese Jack Mackerel on this one. But we'll float fish for them and we'll do the bottom fishing. This will cover all... Wait a minute. This way we'll cover all our possible options. I'm going to take a look at this because as far as lure fishing... What do the dog tooth go for? Do they go for pilgers? Yes, they do. Well, we could try that too. We got, actually, they go for pilkers, crankbaits, and minnows. And we even spoon some poppers. And since I already have a pilker here, might as well give it a try. the heck okay some oh we did get it yep we did get it okay this is gonna be a bit of a fight these guys are not tiny and this rod I think it's right on the fringe of this rods capability so we are gonna have a bit of a fight which is honestly perfectly fine I think this goes up to like maybe it's 70 pounds. Oh boy. He's he's really running with it. I have 820 feet of line here so he's not going to spool me that quick. He's also not going to make it easy for me. Look at these guys. Alright, we got one on this one. Let's go ahead and grab this. We'll let this guy wear himself out a little bit. But since this is a bottom rod, we can muscle this guy up. Yeah, this is a heavy duty rod. Oh, there's... Well, shoot, it's a narrow-barred mackerel. Not that I'm unhappy about that, but... Ah, oh, shoot, really? Eh, he escaped from low-line tension. on it. Well, it was a risk we had to take, and I was sure... That we could have gotten the dog tooth tuna off of that. <laughs> All right, we got something else on this bottom rod again.
We gotta get two of those dog tooth tuna. Doesn't matter what size, just gotta get any size. Oh wow, he is. That's a giant trevally. <laughs> Daggone it. Not that I have issues with catching them, but it's not what I need. 64 pound one though. Okay, wait a minute. Let me take a look at these guys. Dog tooth tuna. Is there anything they go for that none of the others go for? Let's see, giant trevally. It's all the same stuff. Japanese flying squid. Japanese flying squid. There's nothing. Uh, yeah, see, the problem we got here is we, many of these same species go for the same baits. You can't really single them out. Wait a minute. Do they go for scaled sardines? Yeah. <sighs> Let's see. Finger mullet, scale sardines, all the same stuff. Yeah, there's really no way to single them out, guys. Well, let's see here. We could switch Japanese anchovy just to mix it up a little bit. Oh, wait a minute. We got a bite on this one. Well, we did. Apparently he got off the line. And yeah, we'll throw it out again. pull this pilker in. Yeah, I'm thinking though, honestly, that the these guys are just going to be too big for that rod, no matter what I do. Let's try these anchovies. We'll see if they don't have a better effect on these guys. I do want it to go down a little bit farther. Oh, wait a minute. We've got... Got something on this one again. Okay, whatever it is is not unmanageable. I really hope it's what we're after, but I doubt it. It's coming in a little too easy. Let's see, what is it? Greater Amberjack. 58 pounds, though. That rod did pretty good on that guy. Yeah, let's see. Let's change this to... Let's try the skilled sardines, see if they don't have a better... Better luck with these guys. I don't know. You have to get two of these guys. That's not going to be all that easy, really, to be perfectly honest. All right, we've got, I think, gulf shrimp they'll go for as well. Make sure of that. No, they will not. Let's see. They will go for finger molds. Let's try finger molds. And we're getting a bite on. Oh, we're getting two bites. We got something on this one. We got something on the other one. Holy crap. <laughs> Would you know it? When it rains, it pours. But this one is coming in fairly easily. 
we can get him in, we might be able to get the other one too. Let's see. It's only a two odd hook, it couldn't be that big. Okay, we got us another giant Trevally. Dang got it. <laughs> oh, really? <clears throat> and this one's now got something on it. <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah. Have one on the other one. He got off, but this one. Okay. So far, the fish are manageable, though. Even with my non sea gear here. But it seems like when we get these, there's something like a greater amberjack, Japanese amberjack, giant trevally. Not what we're after. <laughs> okay, he's decided that the last minute he's going to fight. <coughs> and fight he is doing well, actually. Wow. I've gotten him several times within 22 feet, and he just takes it right back out. Okay, at 19 feet now. Alright, we got him. It's another giant Trevally. Yeah, we're getting a lot of those guys. Fortunately, not what we need at all. Shoot, I have a feeling that we're going to have to catch these guys trolling. Because we're not having any luck doing it this way. Let me throw this back out. We'll try one more time doing with bottom fishing and float fishing. Then we'll have to try trolling again. But honestly, I've caught the dog tooth tuna most often trolling. More so than any other way. Okay, got some action off this one, let's see what it is, it's not very big, narrow barred mackerel, not what we're after. Yeah, guys, I think we're going to have to do the trolling. We're just going to have to keep trying it. Let me go up here. Let me see. We still got them on the sonar. So they're definitely still in the area. Oh, that's not what the... Okay, we got one on this one.
This is the float rod. Whatever this is, it's on the fringe of its capability, so we have a little bit of fight ahead of us here. Five minutes later. We got him. Greater Amberjack. Thank God. It. <laughs> well, he was quite a fight for a 40 pounder. Oh, shoot. Yeah, like I said, I think we're going to have to. We're going to have to focus on trolling. It's just not working this way. We're getting everything but what we're after. We've got Greater Amberjack. We've got Narrow Barred Mackerel. We've gotten. Giant Trevally, we have not gotten the dog tooth tuna. So let's see if we can't let's see we got this trolling octopus. Let's go a little bit smaller on this, I think. Maybe a rainbow one? And for this one, same thing. But do the red one. We're just going to have to do some trolling. Like I said, we only have to get two of them. this out about 80 feet. There we go. Let's see what we can do here. <clears throat> At 4%, we're going to just keep going through this field and hope we get somebody's attention. As long as I see fish, I'm going to keep going. Wait a minute, we got, we got something. Ah, we got something, finally. Kind of thinking tra changing this over to the smaller lure might have helped. Let's see what this is. There we go. We got our first one. Very nice. Yep, I was right. Trolling. I was right. We had to do this with trolling. Wasn't going to work any other way. But there's our first one. We're still dealing with common size ones. We haven't got any trophies or uniques yet. But I am going to get a picture of him anyway. It's really a nice specimen, honestly. 63 pounds. Like I said, the gear we have should do just fine with catching these guys. Even if they're not sea gear. Alright, let's keep going forward. But we're, we're starting to get out of the field here, so we're going to have to turn back around. I guess we're just going to have to keep making passes through here. <coughs> Seems like about 4% is good. We are out of the fish field. We're going to have to turn around and come back. Yeah. 
Yeah, this isn't like Tuna Alley or Tuna Highway. It's not very big. We have a short window to work with. Okay, looks like there's some more up here near this rock facing. We can we could try going in there and see what happens. We're still not getting any bites. Can't go too far though. We're gonna have to turn soon. Still nothing biting. I got it. <coughs> yeah, we're gonna have to turn back around. And we're gonna take it up to five percent. Seems like when you turn, your speed slows down. It's went down to two knots. go back forward again take it down to four percent well we're going right back to the field again apparently these are all dog tooth tuna oh finally We have one on this rod. Oh, dang. Are you serious? Wait a minute. Come on. Okay, we got him. We got him. Thought he got off. Shoot. That was close. Yeah, Tuna is notorious for spitting the Dagon lure out. Okay, this guy is a little bit heftier than what we had last time. I think you're getting a buy on the other one too. I'm not sure. <coughs> well, he's definitely heftier because he's giving me a fight with this good size seawater seawater rod. <coughs> Excuse me. Come on. I hope this is a trophy dog tooth. I really will. Would be happy. If we've got a trophy or anything bigger than that, would be nice. Alright, we have. We got him. And it is. It's a dog tooth tuna. Regular size, though. No, it says new personal record, though. It's not trophy, but he's on the high end of things. Basically, the upper tier of the common size. 95 pounds. 11,673 cash. 2,807 XP. Let's take a look at this guy. Well, that's a decent dog tooth, honestly. Like I said, we still have trophies and uniques to get. I don't know that they'd be found here, but... I will definitely have to get those completed as well. Let's go ahead and get a decent shot of this guy. I love the teeth on them. The dog tooth tuna. Well, we have to go back to the marina and talk to the administrator. So that means we need to fast travel if we can. Pretty sure we can. Can we just. Uh, it's not quite that easy. 
All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and try to get fast traveled over there. I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go here, go fishing at this location, and then we'll go back to the map and go back here. That should take care of it. Fastest and easiest way to make that happen. And here he is. Great work. We've received a large amount of data, but we still need more data. To calibrate the map. Are you serious? Check it. Oh, man. Really? <laughs> Mission accomplished. North Expedition. Perfect. You fine-tune the navigation device and set a course for future adventures. So we completed that. And now it says map the leaping whale. Finally sail to the specified coordinates near the cape where the whale with a beacon was spotted. From this vantage point, the Tori no Kato gate standing on the island is clearly visible. Wait for the whale and synchronize your navigation systems with its GPS tracker. After calibration, return to the marina and return a navigation device to the administrator to complete the setup and get a new firmware with a detailed depth map of on your tablet. Okay. So we get to actually see a whale. <laughs> Check if the navigation is well configured by comparing accordance with the whale GPS tracker. And they really have gotten extremely extremely complicated with this but I, I'm loving it honestly because it's keeping it interesting we're going to do some whale watching here guys well, let's take a look at the map here Okay, where's this marker at? Okay, so the closest... Why am I not seeing... Okay, why am I not seeing him at... Okay, that's why. That's the closest navigation buoy right here. So we can fast travel there. So we need to turn to the to the right and head for that little diamond <coughs> shape. All right, guys, I just saw the whale. I saw his tail f come up. Oh, there he is! Oh, cool. That is that's a humpback. I was hoping we get to see humpback whales. Oh, that's cool. That is so cool. And we're right where we need to be. Wait for data synchronization to complete, then lift the anchor. So data synchronization has started. Oh my god, isn't that wonderful? He just keeps jumping. That is so, so cool. <laughs> I love this. Yeah, the, the devs, they went above and beyond. I love whales. Please wait a few minutes for day of synchronization to complete. This is this is great. I wonder where he went. He hasn't jumped for a minute.
There he is. Jeez. That is cool. Oh, wow. There it goes. Data synchronization is complete. Lift the anchor. All right. And we return to the court administrator, and there's our fellow again. <laughs> that was cool. All right. Let's see what we have to do here. All right. So we're going to need to go back to the port. It's not exactly easy to do that. You have to go to another spawn point and then back here and that gets you right where we want to be. And we'll talk to him. All right. Coordinates are being compared with the well GPS tractor. Please wait for the device to be installed. Which means what? <laughs> oh, here's his cat. What am I waiting for? <laughs> Wait for the next day. Oh, until the next day for the workers to install the new equipment. Well, that was not as clim climactic as I had hoped. <laughs> I have to wait till the next day for them to install the equipment on my boat. But it was fun. I got to see some whales. I got to catch some dog to fish tuna. Had a lot of fun. Anyway, guys, that completes that mission, at least the majority of it. I think in the next episode, we're going to see where that takes us. Actually, let's just go ahead and advance time. I want to find out. Let's just find out if we can do so. Let's go the next morning. All right, we've got today's results. Map the Leaping Whale. Expertly synchronized, your navigation skills continue to grow alongside the ocean giants. Now you have updated map available on your tablet. We want a navigation buoy, one bait coin. So we have a new mission. Sandy Island Trek. Equipped with new navigation tools and an updated detailed map of your tablet, you're ready to explore. Sail to this trek location to engage in a unique fishing mission, catching a specific form of giant trevally. Don't forget to place a marker buoy to mark this fruitful spot and tell the administrator about your success. And completing this will get us a trophy doubled hook piker and trophy Hino Maru clear fiber carbon leader. Okay. <laughs> So we have to find an oasis island. So let me take a look at the map here. And we are not going to do that in this episode, guys. I'm just trying to figure out where the... Oh, wow. Way over here, huh? Go to the point near the oasis island. Well, we already have a navigation boy over here. But I've never been to this point. So Giant Trevally is over here. Uh, that's good to know. Alright. Well, anyway, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We've got a lot completed. We had a lot of fun. We got to see some whales. Pretty awesome episode. But anyway, guys. As I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.